Hello, it's me Philip. Uh, I've got a new camera, uh, a Sony A5000. I've bought this for intros, just doing these intros, and I absolutely hate doing these intros. So if I look like a puppet or a bit of a robot, I do apologise. I hope to get better in the future. But in this video, we're going to be looking at the Sony PlayStation 1. And the video output on this looks like this. Uh, that's obviously not correct and um, I've been told or someone on reddit has posted about this before set up the capacitors the 550 and the 551 so we're going to get those capacitors replaced in the video and we'll see how we'll get on right so PS1 it has a video problem the output looks like that now this is on composite not getting any sound why aren't i getting any sound obs has been a pain so as you can see it's changing i seem to be getting different a different fault now it seems to be bright white so this is what we're going to look into today so i have a bit of research and the internet has pointed me in the direction of capacitor 551 and capacitor 550 are responsible for this um, and they're both 220 microfarads 4 volts one is for composite and one is for the S video so as it happens I have ordered some caps to go in I'm going to open this up have a look at these caps see if we can get some new capacitors on and see if we can fix this glitch so get rid of that turn that off turn the power supply off and get this open there we go. Right, I'm presuming they're up here, next to the video port. Five, five, one, and five, fifty. Brilliant. I'm going to take them off, and I'm going to put them under the scope. I'm going to use a little bit of flux. Soldering irons set to three, two, five, and I'm just going to put a little bit of this low solder bismuth stuff on just go that's better so with a bit of that on I should be able to heat both sides up pretty quickly And lift it off and the next one put some low melt on and lift it up now I need two replacements and I'll just turn them up slightly on the bottom this is going to be a quick repair if it fixes the problem Tweezers are too big, I'll find some smaller tweezers. That's in, I think. Yep, and I'll put some proper solder on. Just to make sure. That's it. Lovely. I'll keep going on about this stuff. It's the Gauge Master Low Mel Solder. I think it's brilliant. I will just for the sake of it. I'll just put some IPA on there just to give them a bit of a clean. These aren't really worth much, these old PS1s, but I did want. 
I did buy this one because it had a different fault other than not reading CDs which most of them have power okay switch my power supply on seven and a half volts bring up the AV there we go that's it Jurassic Park and hopefully we'll have a better picture Oh, look at that. Perfect. Apart from the fact that it hasn't read the CD. What you not read the CD for? I'll hold the case down. Because it's not screwed in. There we go. Super. Why am I not getting audio? I haven't got a controller plugged in. I've got one here, but it should play a demo. If I if I leave it, tell you what, we'll get them. Um, we'll pop the screws in, and oh, there's a demo there. Spoke too soon. Come on. No, let's get these screws put in. Two seconds. Yeah, I've got me controller plugged in, and. I don't know what's wrong with OBS, but I had sound earlier coming through this thing. And now it's gone off again. Now it's back. So if I get sound, I lose the top-down Sony camera. So it's either, it's either one or the other by the looks of it, which is crazy. I'll turn my microscope off. Right. Now if I turn my microscope off, now I've got my Sony camera and my sound. Right. English. Anglais. Obviously that looks great. That's, that's composite. I'm running through a cheap AV composite the HDMI. USB cup chat. That's obviously working. Um, do I need to test the RGB on the TV? Let's do that. I will turn that off. I will get rid of that. Pull this one out, and this one goes to Scott, which is in the back of the TV. I'm going to record it on here. Right, this is running through the television. This is, I believe, it's when I bought the cable, I bought it as RGB Scott. So we've got the composite working and and the Scott working. But my dinosaur control skills are sadly lacking when I've got one hand on the controller and one hand on the camera. That's brilliant. I'm really pleased with that. So, two little Two little capacitors. It's a common problem on these by the sounds of it. They can go in the bin. I'll find out how much up where's my phone? Where's my phone? Let's find out how much I paid for this. Console is functioning fine and reads games, but sadly does not output a decent picture. I tried this with a couple of cables, so it's the console itself causing this issue. And it was £12.99 from Brad... Brad Doe, if rules... Brad, whatever. 
Thanks, Brad. 1299. I, I think I paid about five pounds for the capacitors. I think that's the capacitors there. Four ninety nine, I think, for the capacitors. So, lovely little console. It's in nice condition. Um, definitely worth hanging on to. And it's got brand new capacitors, so that's going to last quite a while. So, I will turn that down. And that's it. So, if you're PS1 has looks like this. All you need is a few capacitors, 220 UF, and get them swapped over, and you'll be back to playing Jurassic Park in next to no time. So, if you like watching me break stuff as I try to fix stuff, please give us a like and consider subscribing. I'm almost at 500 subscribers, which is really good. And I will see you, hopefully, in the next one. Thanks for watching.